All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry? Let's talk about investing in your TSP. All right. Just so we are all aware, I am far from a financial consultant. Do not take any of these words for anything. Please consult your local financial consultant for all your financial needs. Now, what I'm going to do is just provide some information. What you do with it is up to you. You zimmy, let's talk. Investing in Thrift Savings Plan is a cornerstone of retirement planning for employees of the United States Postal Service. The timing of your contributions can significantly impact the growth of your retirement savings due to the power of compounding interest. Here's a guide to help you understand how to adjust your TSP contributions based on when you start investing. Compound interest. Let me explain to you what it is. I'm not going to explain to you what that is. You're going to Google what compound interest is because if you don't know by now <clears throat> you need to start over in life compound interest ready starting at the age of 25 wish i wish i was i really wish i was i could start all over if you start contributing at to your tsp at the age of 25 you have the advantage of time compounding interest allows your investments to grow exponentially over the years it's recommended to contribute at least five percent of your income to receive a full match from the government however if you can afford to contribute more it will be beneficial due to the compounding and earning effects start early gives your in investments the longest time to grow take the snowball effect you start with a little tiny snowball roll it down a hill it's gonna gather more gonna gather more snow gather more snow, gather more snow, then it turns big, all right? Takes a while, but it will get there, all right? That's at the age of 25. Determine your contribution rate. Aim to contribute at least 5% to get the full employer match. Consider contributing more if you can afford it to maximize your interest. Choose your investments. There's a ton of TSP various funds to diversify your portfolio. I'm not gonna give you those. I did a video about them, I said what I could, there's so many different opinions. They're going to leave all those opinions in the uh, video description, but do what you do. But just so you realize, Postal Family, the last 15 years is not what the next 15 years are going to be. Do your research. Just putting it out there. Some of y'all will research what I just said. Those are the intelligent ones. All right. Set up automatic contributions. Ensure contributions are automatically deducted from your paycheck, okay? Now, starting at the age of 35. Starting at the age of 35 means you have less time for your investments to compound. So you may need to compound a higher percentage of your income to catch up. Financial advisors often suggest increasing your contribution rate to at least 10 to 15% of your income if you start around 35. This higher contribution rate can help offset the shorter investment time horizon. All right. So evaluate your financial goals because mid-career is 35. Reassess your retirement goals and adjust your contributions accordingly. Increase your contribution rate. Aim for a higher contribution rate to catch up to your retirement savings. Review your investments. Consider adjust adjusting your investments allocations based on performance and risk tolerance. Man, I wish I could explain all this to you, but just flow with it for a second. Now, starting at age 45 and above, this is what happened. I, a lady talked to me and recently and I said, well, I can't give you the advice, but... 45 and above, if you're beginning your TSP contributions at the age of 45 or later, you need to be more aggressive with your savings rate to build a sufficient retirement nest egg. At this stage, contributing 15 to 20% or more 
of your income is advisable. Additionally, individuals over 50 can make catch-up contributions, allowing for an additional amount over the standard contribution limit. All right. So maximize your contributions, contribute to the maximum allowed limit, including catch up contributions of over 50. Every few years, they adjust what you can uh, contribute. So I can't give you that information now. People watch this in two laters. All right. Um, aggressive savings. You may, may need to save aggressively, possibly 15 to 20 percent or more of your income. Make sure you get a financial advisor, professional advice to tailor a strategy so you can accelerate your savings. You need to get all that. But general steps for all your ages, assess your current financial situation. We're all broke. I'm not going to wish that on us. We're all rich. Okay. We proclaim that. All right. Understand your cash flow and how much you can realistically contribute. Understand your TSP options, which is very confusing for a lot of people, but you have to do some research. You have to do your own research. If you don't want to sit there and just scroll through your YouTube videos and watch something, there are tons and tons of, um, what are those things that you listen to? Audio books where you can just podcast, where they will talk to you and just listen, learn, please. This is for your future. It means nothing. If you come here and work 25 years and you leave here broke, it makes no damn sense. It doesn't. So please make sure you young people, y'all think you don't need to, but if you can invest more than 5%, half of you still living with your mamas, invest more than 5%, that's where all them expensive, useless cars come. Just throw them out the window, man. Get yourself a cheap car. Invest more. That way you could retire earlier. You could drive nice cars. Man, I'm not telling you nothing. Okay, I am telling you something. It's me being animated. Just go with the flow, okay? People get animated. People go, are you getting angry? They're not getting angry. It's part of my spiel. Relax. Where was I? Young people, man. Stop cutting the fool, man. Stop with all that expensive sugar. All right, regularly monitor your TSP account, just like you check your damn credit. Oh, y'all don't check your credit. Okay, just like you tech check your TikToks, check your TSP performances. They change. All right, stay informed. There are TSP webinars and utilize educational resources to stay up to date on the investment strategies. I was listening to a guy. I'm not gonna endorse him because somebody will be like he's crash, but. Very good information. Just like I said, if you're still watching, 15 years ago to today had a specific pace that thing grew. These next 15 years are going to be totally different. So it's time for people to readjust. Yes, the S&P 500 is doing excellent, but these next 15, it had nothing to do with the president. Trust what I tell you. So. Take your time, do your research, please, Postal family. There's no reason. And when the lady spoke to me, I had to turn around and say, you know what? I'm investing a lot, but at this point in my life, I now know what year I want to retire. I know specific the year that I'm going to retire. I'm not going to be one of those that keep staying around. So now I have to go in and adjust my TSP. Somebody email me or somebody left a comment. So I'm going to adjust mine to put more in and it's going to hurt me financially in my pockets right now. I'm going to have to cut back on a couple things, but I know that the bigger investment now will help me later on. And that's, that's not because I got a ton of, I ain't got, I ain't even got draws on right now. Yeah, I do. But seriously, I'm hoping this message resonates. I can't get my information out there as far as I'd like it to. Um, but again, 25, make sure you put in 5%, 35, 10 to 15%. Um, 45 and up 15 to 20%. Easy. That's 20%. That's not easy to do. Thousand dollars, 20%. Is what a 200 bucks. That's what it'll end up coming out. So even before taxes, after taxes, whatever you want to do, gonna be, oh, do the Roth, do this, do that. I'm not gonna get into that. Make sure you're putting money for your nest for later. That's all I'm talking about. Please. 
Utilize this place for what it's worth. This is JH and we out of here. Cause it is pouring raining outside. Yep. And I'm out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.